When breaking news happens, Bay News 9 is there with more people, more resources, and more coverage than any other station. For in-depth coverage of breaking news, turn to Bay News 9, your news channel only on Bright House Networks. It's time for our Health Team 9 report, and it's Cervical Health Awareness Month. And Dr. Jennifer Hayes joins us from the Visionary Center for Women in Clearwater. Doctor, this is likely a conversation that many women don't have, but you say it's one they need to be having. Explain. Absolutely, Melissa. We've done a great job of getting out the message that we as women need to have our pap smears to screen for cervical changes and avoid cervical cancer. Still, 11% of women in the United States admit that they don't get regular pap smears. And this is a cancer that's almost totally preventable. Well, wow. what's new on the forefront as far as diagnosing and, and treating this type of cancer? Well, as m many women do know, HPV, or human papillomavirus, is actually the cause of virtually all cervical cancers. Mm -hmm. So one of the main uh, thrusts of our research today is trying to figure out new and better ways to pick up that virus and to be able to detect the women that need to have ongoing follow-up or need to get really, really watched closely. Okay. Is there anything that, that's really close right now? On one of the biggest things on the horizon is that there is a new gene that's being tested now that can be able to uh, locate not only the women that have HPV, but the women who not have the high-risk HPV and are going to progress onto cervical cancer. Okay. The majority of HPV infections will clear themselves within two years. So we as physicians try to figure out who do we need to really treat and who can we watch and wait with and continue to do serial pap smears to allow that to go ahead and clear itself. If we can identify the women who are going to go ahead and progress, those are the women that we really want to be able to treat and to, uh, to avoid the cancer. Right. Very exciting research. Doctor, mm -hmm. thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.